Denmark the gold, Russia the silver, and Italy the bronze in women's team competition. Now for the guys. And it is the compound bronze medal match. And once again, we'll see a team from Russia. Russians out first. The Federation beating the United States by 10 in the quarterfinals before losing to Italy by five in the semifinals. And the leader of this squad, unquestionably, Alexander Dombayev, the 26-year-old who's ranked 26th in the world. Dombayev in the middle. On his right, Chinggis Rinchino, 25 years old and unranked. And on his left, Viktor Kalashnikov, 26 years old, in the top 50 in the world rankings. He's ranked 44th in the world. So pretty formidable lineup for yeah, the Russian great. Federation. Yeah. Well, Alexander did really good in the individual matches, and um, Viktor did really well in, in his qualification. French with two relative newcomers teaming up with Sebastien Panot. They know number one in the world, and we'll see him in the gold medal match later on against Mike Schlosser in what shapes up as a terrific, terrific showdown match. between yeah. those two. Jean Philippe Bouche, the 24 year old in the middle, and on the right, Fabian Delobel, 30 years old and unranked. So the Russians on target one. And France on target number two. And the cheering sections getting warmed up right now. Here in the Congressium in Ankara, Turkey on Sunday. And the world number one will be headed to the line first for France. Sebastien Peinot, 28 years old. Leading off. Be interesting to see whether they have him shoot last as well. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, in, in our team round, <laughs> when, when we're shooting, Mike is opening as well. Right. So, you know, it's, it, it, it depends how the, uh, how the team is working up. Normally, Mike opens and I'm, I'm closing down. And, right. You know, it's, it, it could be. Of course, he has he has Peter Elzinga to rely on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have him to rely on as well. So. Let's see, there's yeah. another guy. Uh, yeah. Let's see, who else have you guys got? Uh, <laughs> Ruben, we got Ruben, Ruben and we got, we got Thomas, and right. Yeah. There's a little bit of depth there, and yep, the Dutch team. Pay no with a ten. Nine points. Oh, it's surprisingly, of course, with, with the French team, with, with Bulge, that, that did really well in, in the Nîmes tournament. And uh, that, that, of course, uh, well, Pierre Chilin de Loche not, not being here. Miss Saint Pierre. One of our favorites on the World Cup circuit. Yeah. Kalashnikov posts a nine to start things off for Russia. Chinggis Ranchino. Attacking with his first shot. And now Alexander Dombayev. Who's claimed six World Cup medals. In just a few years, he's been out on the circuit. Correct. Yeah. And here you can see that Dambayev is, is shooting last in the team round. Changing up yeah. order now. Correct. So Sebastian will shoot last. Will shoot last, yeah. Jean-Philippe Bulch. Nine. He's more aggressive. Vas-y, n'hésite pas à envoyer. Delobel with seven match wins in his career. Coming to Ankara. He had a pretty good indoor year nice. as well. Hey. It's really developed into an interesting indoor circuit, hasn't it? Yes, correct. Marrakesh. Yeah. Nîmes. Las Vegas. And Bangkok. And right? Bangkok. Yeah. Set with a nine. 
Il va falloir mettre de la watt là. C'est un peu long et un peu. Yeah, with just three seconds on the clock. There it is. Ten points. Nine points. This could be a close match as well. Certainly with, with France and the Russian, all got a few newcomers in. Care to take a guess as to whether that's raising the line? That's, I think that's in. That should do it. All it needs to do is just barely touch that line. Correct. Yeah. And you get the higher value. Yeah, correct. The, the judge eventually will, will look from, from both sides if it's touching yes or no. And either, either one, if it's touching on one side, it, it, will, it will get a 10. Men's team bronze medal match underway. Unofficially, Russia with 57 points. France with 56. But again, we're going to have to put some. <laughs> well, I'm not quite sure what to say. <laughs> well, you know, I'm battling the bulge myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, the judge is getting a workout here today. No yeah, question about no that. No question about that. No it, question no. about that. They've put through their paces. Enjoy these replays. You get a chance to look at every archer's style and the way they they approach the shot that they're going to take. Yeah. Not not one is the same. Not one is the same. Actually, I think it's a two-point lead, 58-56. I'm reading the scoreboard correctly. Yep. So two-point advantage for the Russians as we begin the second end. Ten points. All right, so well. That should do it. Dello Bell dials up a 10. And now Bulsh. Another nine. Philippe finding the nine ring. Yeah. It's on the exact lame, same location as his previous end. Now Kalashnikov averaging 9.5 points per shot. Yeah, we still need those binoculars here. Yeah, again. That or I need laser surgery. One of the two. <laughs> oh, I've been lasered on my eyes. So Have you? Yeah, yeah. Well, you should be able to see these things, yeah. Peter. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been lasered on my left eye oh, because okay. yeah, I couldn't see couldn't properly see anymore. So yeah, kind of important in your line of work, yeah, I guess. Yeah, correct. Well, I've I've tried with lenses and and even with with glasses, but that that didn't help at all. So eventually, I got lasered. Because there's no question about that first one. Jean Philippe. I think it brings it up a little bit. If he's made any adjustments. All right, and yeah. yep. I'd say that he made an yep. adjustment. <laughs> Stabs that target. Fabienne de Lobel. Nice. Yeah. Another yeah. 10. That's catching the line as well. Un peu à droite, Fable 2. Toi qui l'as. Ouais. Ah, 
Yeah. And Mino puts it where he wants it. Allez, les gars. Allez, c'est bon. Ça, c'était attaqué. Nickel. France picking up the pace. Allez, encore quatre chacun comme ça. Nine points. Victor Kalashnikov. I think that's just out. Nine. All of a sudden, the Russian Federation struggling just a little bit. Still at 10 by Dombayev, and they'll maintain a one-point lead. Only relinquishing one point, and I think yes. that that is exactly what they've done. For sure, one-point lead, but it, yeah. it could be a two-point lead. Could be a two-point if it's out. And at this point, I tried to stop guessing. <laughs> France getting to this bronze medal match with a two-point uh, win over Iraq in the quarterfinals before losing to Denmark by one in the semis. And as we mentioned already, the uh, Russian Federation beating the USA by 10 in the quarters before losing to Italy by five. Yeah, I wasn't on the field when uh, when the US was, was shooting against them, but I heard that, that uh, the U.S. came in short in time, and they 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 had, didn't have time to shoot those last two arrows. So, hmm. um. that'll make a difference. That will make yeah. a difference. Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. You get to see the sight with the level, the level, the pin. Oh, not a pen. That's just a dot, isn't it? Yeah, that's a dot. Yeah. Dot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you a dot guy or are you a pin guy? No, I'm a dot guy. You're a dot yeah, guy. Okay. Yeah. I've tried it many times, but it's just not my thing. No. Nope. No, really? Yeah. Okay. I'm just happy when I can get the bubble right in the middle. <laughs> if I can do that, I just let it go. <laughs> I'll punch it. I'll punch it. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I've done my job. <laughs> Tax on another 10. So eventually it was a one point lead. France cutting into that lead Nine. in the second end. Allez. Allez, Jean Trying to cut into it more here in the third end. Jean-Philippe Boulch. After the nine by Delobel, trying to pick it up. Big, strong archer. Right. With a strong shot. Yeah, he was he was standing in front of me when we had a qualification. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, maybe I'm too small, but yeah, he was big. <laughs> well, if we choose up basketball sides, <laughs> yeah. we definitely want Jean-Philippe Bouche. Ten. Connecting. Now we're in China. Nine points. Nine for the man who won a team gold medal at the 2008 World Championship. And here is Dombayev, the bronze medalist from Belik, 2013 World Championships. On the beach in Belik. Yep. One point advantage for Russia with nine Not it. remaining in this He's match. been outstanding the last couple of years. Yeah, correct. Really watched him come on. You had a chance to uh, shoot against him? Yeah, very a often. A couple of times, even uh, uh, in, in Switzerland. 
uh, not last year, but mm. the year before with the World Cup final, we shot against each other and, well, it, I, ouais, yeah. I won the match because Allez, the BF shot his last arrow on eight, but it uh, was a really, really tight he match He gave you a well. run for the money yeah, then. You know? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Allez, Fab. Right now, France is giving the Russian Federation a run for the money. And improving as the match is going on, as it continues. Sebastien Pienot. Perfect shot. Almost perfect. That's a good round from the French guys. Five out of the nine in the ten ring. If you don't think it's a mental game, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> you weren't watching that coach right there. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Kalashnikov, mentally strong. Chingiz has shown the same strength. Nine. But plants that one on the nine ring. Yeah. You can see again, he's moving aside. It's on the exact le same location. Dombayev touching it? Nope. I don't think so. I think that's out. Russia or France. Okay, we'll sit back, we'll relax, and we'll <laughs> wait and see what the judges have to say. We'll either see France with a one-point advantage, or we'll see Russia and France. So it could swing a couple of ways, depending on the outcome of the judge's decision. It could be tight, or it could be a one-point lead. Unofficially, they've got France with 173 and Russia with 172. But an excellent third end for Team France. Bouche, Delobel, and Penault. Applying a lot of pressure right now on these three archers. Dombayev, Rinchino, and Kalashnikov. No, they didn't get it. All right, so France moves ahead by one. 173, 172. With six more arrows to be shot by both of these teams. Mr. Kalashnikov headed to the line for the Russian Federation. They draw by one point. Fans in the stands lending their moral support right now. Final here at the 12th World Indoor Championship. Interesting lighting. Lighting on the shooting line, lighting yeah. on the targets. Yeah, correct. Well, for darker in between. Yeah, well, as a compound archer, you don't really notice in, in the middle a lot, but it really I depends know. a lot on what you're seeing on the line mm -hmm. and, and how light the, the target phase is. It's been it's been really good here so far. The lights have been good and qualifications and and also with the with the final rounds and now here in the final field. Ten. After the nine by Kalashnikov, Chingiz on in China picks him up with a ten. And now Dombayev. Ten. Alexander with a great shot. They needed that. Allez. Sebastien to lead off and then to bring it home. Here's Allez, the final lead. Yep. Bon, so Allez, he does his job. On est grand armement. Now we'll wait to take the final shot for Allez. France. Delobel ah, wheels and deals. Ça c'est bien, c'est solide quand t'as armé. Du coup après ça tient, c'est bon. Can 
Jean-Philippe Bulsch keep it going. Right. Yep. And the answer is yes. Oui. 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 Allez. Restez bien solidaires. Restez bien sur vous. An emphatic oui. Une flèche chacun. Tens across the board, and the lead grows to two with three arrows left to shoot. Russ is in a tough spot right now. Ten. Can only be shooting tens from here on out if they hope to have a chance. Cha-ching. Yeah. Looks like it's in there. Yeah, double cut the line. Allez, on s'occupe de nos flèches, hein. tranquillement, tant pis, on se prépare. Yep. Dom Baev drills one. If they wanted to have a chance that, that this should have happened. If you're France, you assume nothing <laughs> at this point. You assume you have to shoot three tens yep. to secure this medal. They got, it, they got it in our own hands right now. Right. Bulls yeah. bangs one home. C'est bon, Fab. Bing, bada, boom. T'as juste à être grand comme tout à l'heure, là même. On est grand à l'armement. Big time shot contact. for the big guy. Nice. C'est bon, c'est bon. Little bell. A little low. Allez, Seb, t'as le temps. Nine should be enough to win it. Number one archer in men's oh compound yeah. comes up with the nine, almost had the ten. So does anybody celebrate just yet, or do we wait and see? I think we'll have to wait and see. Little close to call right now. Unofficially, it's 231 to 230 in favor of France. But as with many things in life, it could be subject to change. Yeah, correct. The most of life. <laughs> All right, they've looked at the uh, Russian Federation's targets, their arrows. Now inspecting the French arrows. The long, long waiting game. I'm sure it's. You've been in this position before. It's, yeah. it's much longer for the guys. Correct. You're waiting and waiting, waiting. to see oh, the outcome. Oh, look at this! Die. Look oh. at this! It ain't over till it's over. No. Nope. We're going to a shoot off. Again, you can see it right here, right now. It's not over until it's over. Until it's over. Had Sebastian Penaud's arrow been just a little slightly more to the right, they'd already have the medal in their pocket, but right now they're going to have to go to a shoot-off. So the second straight shoot-off. We saw it in the women's team gold medal match where Denmark pulled it out, defeating the Russian Federation. Can France defeat the Russian Federation in the men's bronze medal match? Remains to be seen. There have been a lot of interesting calls this weekend and particularly today. Yeah, I, I don't think I've seen so many close calls. Never. I think when you're shooting from 18 meters, you're going to get a lot of close calls. There's yeah. going to be a lot of shots. Of course, of course. We're right there. Yeah. Beauty of the indoor game, though. Well, especially seeing it from a perspective um, with, with, with the teams and with, with, the, with the target face, you know, they changed the target face, of course, a couple of years ago. And yeah, with, with, with the 10 ring from the recurve in, you could see it a lot, just a little bit better. Nine. 
Pinot trying to apply pressure instead. Pressure is now on France. Allez, on reste bien sur soi, Fab. Kalashnikov. Nine. Eight. About the same Allez, neighborhood. Pas. Yeah. Russia. Tranquille, tranquille. A little slow getting Allez, off the line. Bon, le chrono, bon. as juste à être grand. Or a little quick getting Allez. to the line, I should say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Allez, c'est solide, c'est solide, c'est solide. Can understand his eagerness, but. Yeah. Nine. He's Allez. getting with with the tension there and just not oh. focusing, just tightening up. Yeah, yeah. You know the normal team rounds, of course. He will he will shoot three arrows and then the other team goes. But it's alternate shooting in the shoot off. Chingiz or in Chino? Nine. No. Oh. And we still down. have not had a ten. It comes down to the last arrows. <laughs> this is really interesting. Allez, Zanfi. Jean-Philippe Bouche. Put into a pressure-packed situation. All right. Close. But certainly leaves France vulnerable. Yeah. Alexander Dombayev. If he should it. He's got the talent. Yeah. He's got the experience. But look at that, way outside. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, upset with himself. And France, without shooting a 10 in the shoot-off, gets the win and gets the medal. So it's all nines. This is... <laughs> Have you seen anything like that before? No, never, never, never. Unbelievable. You stick around long enough, Peter. You will see it all. <laughs> So the tiebreaker goes to France. Didn't seem as though anybody really wanted it. No. You take it. No, yeah. you take it. Correct. No, yeah. you take it. Yeah. But also the arrows coming coming off very, very far from the middle. Surprisingly to see this. 